This is the Music History Today podcast for April 7th. On today's show, Shania Twain makes history, Megan gets savage, Wham! plays China, and happy birthday to Miss Billie Holiday. First up, though, on this date in 1956, The Platters debuted on American television. Also on that same exact day, the TV show Rock and Roll Dance Party premiered on CBS television. In 1958, the movie St. Louis Blues, starring Nat King Cole as W.C. Handy, premiered in movie theaters. In 1959, Marty Robbins recorded the song El Paso. In 1971, the Rolling Stones started their record label company, Rolling Stones Records. In 1975, Richie Blackmore left Deep Purple and formed the band Rainbow. In 1979, country music singer Roseanne Cash married country music singer Rodney Crowell. In 1985, Wham! became the first Western band to play in Communist China. In 1988, Alice Cooper almost died on stage when a wire snapped during one of his gallows stage stunts, which made him almost hang himself for real. He was rescued by a roadie. In 1990, drummer Steven Adler performed with Guns N' Roses for the last time. He was kicked out of the band shortly thereafter for excessive drug use, which is saying something because, well, Guns N' Roses, drugs, kind of went together back in the day. Anyway, also in 1990, the Farm Aid 4 concert took place. In 1998, George Michael was arrested for lewd conduct in a park bathroom in Los Angeles. In 1999, Shania Twain became the first female artist to have two albums sell 10 million copies each back-to-back. The first album was The Woman in Me. The second one was Come On Over. In 2015, Don McLean's original lyric sheet for his song American Pie sold for $1.2 million at an auction. And in 2018, the group UNB was formed. In classical music, in 1724, Johann Sebastian Bach premiered his piece, St. John Passion. In 1805, Ludwig van Beethoven premiered his Third Symphony, Eroica. And in 1824, the first performance of Ludwig van Beethoven's piece, Misa Solemnis, was held. In theater, in 1949, the musical South Pacific opened on Broadway. In 1964, the musical High Spirits opened on Broadway. In 1991, the Broadway show Shadowlands closed. And in 2009, the musical Rock of Ages premiered on Broadway. In award ceremonies that were held on April 7th in 1973, Luxembourg won the Eurovision Song Contest. In 2003, Toby Keith and Martina McBride were among the big winners at the Country Music Television Video Music Awards. In 2008, Bob Dylan received a Pulitzer Prize. And in 2017, Pearl Jam, Journey, Yes, Tupac, Now Rogers, Joan Baez and ELO were among those who were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Albums that were released on April 7th include in 1969 when Leonard Cohen released Songs from a Room and the Naz released Naz Naz. In 1971, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young released Four Way Street. In 1978, Prince released For You. In 1981, Rick James released Street Songs. In 1986, The Blow Monkeys released Animal Magic, and the Absolute Beginners soundtrack came out that day. In 1987, Whitesnake released their self-titled album. In 1992, Diamanda Gales released The Singer. In 1994, M.O.P. released To the Death. In 1995, Oval released 94 Discount. In 1997, The Chemical Brothers released Dig Your Own Hole. In 1998, The Two Live Crew released The Real One. Stabbing Westward released Wither, Blister, Burn, and Peel. Bachman Turner Overdrive released The King Biscuit Flower Hour. King Biscuit, meanwhile, released Space Groove. And Bonnie Raitt released Fundamental. In 2009, Neil Young released Fork in the Road, James Taylor released his EP, Other Covers, and the Tragically Hip released We Are the Same. And in 2017, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers released Psychotic Reaction. Singles that were released on April 7th include in 1958 when Elvis Presley released Wear My Ring Around Your Neck. 
In 1969, Mary Hopkin released Goodbye. In 1970, Neil Diamond released Suleiman, African Trilogy No. 2. In 1980, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers released Here Comes My Girl. In 1998, the Goo Goo Dolls released Iris, and Air released Sexy Boy. In 2009, Katy Perry released Waking Up in Vegas. In 2013, Selena Gomez released Come and Get It. In 2017, Harry Styles released Sign of the Times. Also on that same day, Mark Thomas released Side Chick. And in 2020, Megan the Stallion released Savage. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on April 7th include jazz singing great Miss Billie Holiday, also sitar virtuoso Ravi Shankar, John Oates of Hall & Oates, singer-songwriter Janice Ian, Simon Climey of Climey Fisher, composer Percy Faith, Nicole Fiorentino of The Smashing Pumpkins, Dallas Taylor of Crosby, Stills, and Nash's band, also Greg Reeves of Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young's band, singer Carol Douglas, Steve Ellis of Love Affair, Bruce Gary of The Knack, country music singer Bobby Bear, Spencer Dryden of Jefferson Airplane, Mick Abrahams of Jethro Tull, Patricia Bennett of The Chiffons, Florian Schneider of Kraftwerk, Musician Ben McKee, singer Charlie Thomas, singer Anne Marie, singer Saad Lamjard, singer Torin Wells, singer Choi Sawan, rapper Ahmad Balsh, opera music singer Laura Breton, John Cooper of Skillet, and percussionist Mongo Santa Maria. Artists who unfortunately passed away on April 7th include composer Franz Sparri, who passed away in 1767 at the age of 51. Composer Mikel Matteo passed away in 1768 at the age of 78. Composer Johann Kell passed away in 1778 at the age of 52. Composer Ignaz Holzbauer passed away in 1783 at the age of 71. Cellist and composer Anthony Radziwill passed away in 1833 at the age of 57. Composer Anton Diabelli passed away in 1858 at the age of 76. Composer Sidney Nelson passed away in 1862 at the age of 62. Composer Erico Pedrella passed away in 1877 at the age of 63. Pianist Dietrich Krug passed away in 1880 at the age of 60. Composer Judge Jackson passed away in 1958 at the age of 75. Composer Clementi Korshmarev passed away in 1958 at the age of 58. Composer Jesus Garidi passed away in 1961 at the age of 74. Composer Yusef Gris passed away in 1961 at the age of 61. Band leader and actor Nick Stewart passed away from cancer in 1973 at the age of 69. Composer Ernest Kennett passed away in 1978 at the age of 83. Record producer, who was also the manager of The Who, Kit Lambert, passed away from a cerebral hemorrhage in 1981 at the age of 45. Jazz singer Maxine Sullivan passed away in 1987 at the age of 75. Organist Cesar Breskin passed away in 1988 at the age of 74. R&B singer and guitarist Lee Brilleau of the group Dr. Feelgood passed away from lymphoma in 1994 at the age of 41. Singer Browery Maratika passed away in 2000 at the age of 51. Bassist and singer Hines of the group Tornadoes passed away from complications of a stroke in 2000 at the age of 57. Jazz pianist Judah Hip passed away in 2003 at the age of 78. 
Record producer and sound engineer Andy Johns passed away from liver issues in 2013 at the age of 62. Drummer Joe Maselli of John Fred and his Playboy Band passed away in 2019 at the age of 74. Country and folk music singer-songwriter John Prine passed away from COVID-19 in 2020 at the age of 73. Music producer Hal Wilner passed away from COVID-19 in 2020 at the age of 64. Session guitarist Ian Brerson passed away in 2023 at the age of 69. Session bassist John Regan passed away in 2023 at the age of 71. And session guitarist Lass Wellender passed away in 2023 at the age of 70. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is April 8th, when in 2000, the famous Saturday Night Live Blue Oyster Cult More Cowbell sketch with Will Ferrell and Christopher Walken premiered. <laughs> 